prompt comes up. Okay, the uh, Windows file server group install has finished on node 1. Um, we just finished clustering over here, so you need cluster storage. And we're going to cheat a bit and tell it to, after it's finished that, to install Windows File Server. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, which is quite important, um, is the starting and stopping of Samba when it's uh, as a cluster service um, is going to be done by the clustering service and not by initd. Um, so we need to disable uh, SMB from starting automatically. Just like that. Uh, the next thing we need to install is the iSCSI initiator. Um, then we need to start iSCSI. Once we've started it, we need to actually discover some volumes, which we can do by doing SCSI, iSCSI admin, m discovery, t send targets, and then you put the IP address at the end. Cool. Uh, and then once you've done that, those are the two iSCSI volumes that we've defined. So and then you restart iSCSI. And then you need to check what devices it's been allocated. So there we have our one gigabyte um, quorum partition. And then we have over here our eight gigabyte data partition. You're downloading Windows tools now. Okay, well, how about we actually now format that quorum partition um, by doing MK, so make quorum disk. The device, as we've seen from above, is dev sdb. And then we need to give it a label, and I'm just going to call it Quorum. Yep, that's fine. There we go. Let's go and see how Node 2 is doing. Good, again, we need to do check config del smb yum install iSCSI initiator utilities and we need to start our SCSI exactly the same way as we did before then we need to do the iSCSI admin and discovery send targets p192.168.1.3 those are the two targets then we need to restart iSCSI again and then fdisk l and you can see here which is interesting is that the device is actually uh, just checking that it hasn't swapped it round yeah see over here our quorum disk is SDB and over here our quorum disk uh, is SDC so normally if you restart a SCSI again and then check it let's try again let's do a discover 
and then a restart what we want is for the two to be the same okay let's give it a restart over on the second node as well so core and partition is on C and here the core and partition is on C. Okay, so as uh, I mean, it doesn't necessarily matter which one is which, whether the core and partition um, is on you know SDC or SDB, whatever, um, uh, as long as it's the same on both nodes. So here, um, although in fact, believe it or not, the core and partition doesn't isn't even done on the dev anymore. However, the data partition um, will be done on um, the disk device so um, ensure that um, both your data partition so in, in this particular example our san vol 1 partition is on dev sdb um, and here as well sdb okay um, so that's looking good uh, next thing we want to do um, is let's configure Enter a password here. This is the password for the web administration that we're going to use in a minute. There you go, as it says there, now do service Lucy restart. And there you have the web address to be able to access it. Just waiting for XP to wake up, there we go. And the address is 192.168. So actually we can probably access it over 10.0.1.1 uh, port was 8084 and I think it was HTTP was it S or not yes it is go okay, continue and then we're going to use admin and the password that we specified at the prompt over here and log in There we go, so we're in. Now I'm going to pause it there, um, and because probably that's probably long enough, uh, and I'll see you in part two.